Hey, how's it going? So, I've mounted about, I don't know, four or five sets of these ATV tires and rims. Uh, my buddies were telling me to make a video, so I'll figure I'll make a quick video to help you guys out who want to do it at home. So I picked up these tires used, and they were on different rims. And I already got those off, and I guess I didn't make a video of that, but I can maybe do that again in the future. I'll probably be doing another set for somebody. Um, so this video will be showing you how to get rims into tires by yourself. I got four aluminum rims, four ATV tires. All I'm using is uh, two tire spoons or tire irons, some rim savers. I got some soapy dishwater. And that should be enough. Oh, and an air compressor to get air in afterwards. So let's see how this goes. Oh, I should, I should mention, if you're going to do this yourself at home, all these rims, you can see, are small on one end in the middle there. See how it tapers down? And that's on the front end. So when you're putting rims into tires, your tires onto rims, you always go from this side, where it's the closest to the small area, small diameter. That'll make it the easiest. You never come from this end, because it's super wide here and uh, you'll have a harder time. So let's, let's start. <clears throat> so I've done this different ways. I've put in tires onto rims and also rims into tires. I'm gonna do it this way this time. So with your soapy water, slide on I'm just using a sponge and I'm going to do the valve on this end so you want to get the bead of the tire in the small area of the rim work your way around bit by bit there we go one side in don't flip it around now we gotta get this side Well, I had a bit, have a hard time starting it, but I did get it around using the tire irons, rim savers and tire irons. Maybe this one I'll try putting the tire on the rim. We can try that. Both ways will work. Different ways to do it. tires are directional so one's going that way this tire has to go the other way so this one's spinning this way this one's spinning that way arrows arrows so let's try this one we'll leave the rim like that and I'll lube up So a diff different way to do it, ram it on. And then that 
some point. It's too hard physically. I'm a bit sick right now. You can use your rim savers on the rim. And then you just use your pry bar. And just go slow. Around the edge. Now I'll show you what I did to the other one. I guess we're in the same position as we were before. And the pry bars will be your friend. You want to get the bead into that lip, that small area on the rim. Once you got it started, put your rim saver in. If you care about your rims, we're just going to go ever so slowly around the edge, making sure you keep this lip down. There we go. Probably saw it flip down there now. And voila. They just air them up. Set the bead. Make sure your beat set all the way around. This side looks good. This side is good except for up to here. As long as you bounce it, that'll help. So 
Sometimes a dead blow hammer will help. Just put a bit more air in, work your way around, and the beetle set.